Hi, everybody. Welcome to the, this week we've changed the name to the Solori No Guts, No Glory Hour. And in a moment, I'll explain to you exactly why that is. First of all, I want to say happy post 4th of July. Hope everybody had a great, safe, happy, fun 4th. Thank you to Rich Albano for an awesome party last night, by the way, Rich. We love you. Thanks. Um, I just want to let my husband, Vinny, here speak for a moment. A lot of people have been wondering what happened to him. A lot of people seem to think that this is what happens when you don't take the garbage out like you should. <laughs> but um, my husband's going to give you a quick explanation. First and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody for all their good wishes, um, all their prayers they sent to me. I was helping a friend move. Uh, I was moving some glass, coming down the stairs, got to the last step, didn't know there was one more. And that took, took the ground, hit my knee, broke the glass, 200 stitches across the forehead, two tendons, a nerve in the palm, a uh, whole Severed. bunch of stitches. Severed. Yeah, a whole bunch of stitches, a little bit of rehab, hanging in tough. I just had to let everybody know that I was okay because Denise, Michelle, Sapienza, they told you just to watch so you would get the update. Thank you, everybody out there, for your wishes. I thank you very much. Tonight we have a collaboration of one, two, three, four, five musicians, and then including myself, um, amazing musicians tonight. Uh, we have George Fedden, who we'll get into a little bit more after the commercial break, what George does and why we're here. So we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Tom Mealy from the Harrison Law Group. You know, soft tissue injury, that's no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. Don't waste valuable time going to firms who don't get it and can't do it. Call 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Like so many people, are your finances tight lately? Afraid to open your mail or even answer your phone? Well, take heart. You don't have to live like that. If you're 62 or older and own your own home, you can join the thousands of folks who have used safe and effective government-insured reverse mortgages. The government-insured reverse mortgages from Long Island's Senior Reverse Network allow you to stay in your home and turn equity into tax-free cash. Our government-insured reverse mortgages can eliminate mortgage payments, credit card balances, or just improve your lifestyle. Do yourself a favor and solve these problems now. Call the Senior Reverse Network, and our advisors will answer all of your questions about our reverse mortgage programs. We've helped scores of senior Long Island homeowners like you who now enjoy a worry-free retirement. Get the financial security and peace of mind you've dreamed about. Pick up the phone and call us at the Senior Reverse Network now to set up a free consultation. Call 1-800-985-REVERSE. That's 1-800-985-7383. This is Beth. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Uh, hmm. uh, Ray, I don't know. Are you sure clicking this thing will get us online? Well, try dragging it. Hmm. Faster. You're just a mouse click away from a better way to rent movies. Blockbuster Total Access. Movies through the mail plus movies through the store. One low price. Here's the problem. We what? forgot to plug it in. Oh, don't even think about it. Get a free trial at your Blockbuster store or Blockbuster.com. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hours, famous name brands. We sell Gardol. We sell Amsac. 
the new ANSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best, Locksmith and Hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. Hi, and welcome back to the Slory No Guts, No Glory Hour. Tonight, our guests are special guests. I'll introduce them one by one. We have guitar George Fedden, who is here tonight. He makes these amazing acrylic guitars. Um, they're in the Hall of Fame. He'll get into all that and explain everything. We have Lenny Campanelli. He's going to rip up the guitar tonight, as well as Mike Gervasi to his right, who will also do some ripping of the guitar. <laughs> we have John Orlett, a.k.a. Peppy, who's going to be banging those drums. And we have Joe Vecchio on bass. Good evening, guys. How you all doing? Doing Jan, good. Jan, 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 awesome. Jan and Vinny, it's a hot day in July. It totally is. It's hot here in the Mad House. So if anything mad comes out of our mouths, you know it's for two, because we are in the Mad House, and it's July 5th, and it's a scorcher. So anything goes here, guys. Oh, before we get going, um, we have another little special guest here tonight. This guy's going to be hanging out with us tonight. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is George. He was rock and roll. Yeah, and, you know, I guess if you're going to have some kind of an injury and you got something funky like this, you might as well dress it up. Yeah, I, I couldn't let this bandage just stay like this. So, you know, hey, George. you might get out of line to ask some questions, he's, guys. He's just, George okay. and he's George. just feel free to answer. <laughs> okay. This is little George. Little hey, George. how are you? <laughs> Not that they look anything like, but there you go. There's your namesake. There you go. So, George, George Fedden, guitar George Fedden. Janet. I want you to tell our audience here, and I know there's a lot of musicians watching tonight, Tell us about your amazing guitars. Well, I was inspired by the rock and roll that we all grew up with. And uh, I remember as a kid having a poster in my room of Keith Richards playing a Dan Armstrong guitar. And if anyone knows, he's the, the godfather of the acrylic guitars. He manufactured them here in Edison, New Jersey in the early 70s. And uh, I'm an acrylic artisan. I've been working with plexiglass now. This is my 40th year. Oh, wow. I've always been, uh, you know, impressed with guitars. I love them. Uh, been around them my whole life. And I started building probably around the mid-90s. And uh, what you see here, the, this blue and clear guitar here is actually a, a, a lamp oil and a water inside the body. And uh, I was commissioned by... ESP guitars in late 96 to build two for the 97 NAMM show in Anaheim. And I did. And uh, those two went to Kurt Hammett and Metallica. And uh, I, late, I later found out in February of this year that, that, that the first one's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And the one here with the maple neck is the 76th guitar that I built in, in these last 15 years. 16 years now. 76? That's the 76th guitar. That's the eighth model like, like you see here. And as you can see, there's, there's, there's many models. Yeah, I'm an artist and I could, now, I were could you, build anything. Were you working with acrylic before building the guitars or did you start off yeah, building yeah, the guitars? Uh, at, at a high school when I turned 16, I, I got a job in an art gallery and started working with acrylic framing. Cases for artifacts, which led to functional sculptures and furniture and banisters and such. And being an artist, I could, I could make anything with this stuff. Right. My best ideas come from insomnia at night and working out the logistics of, of, of what you need to. And, uh, and being and, that you have rock and roll running through your veins, like yeah, you did yes, your whole, yes, you know, yes. uh, entire life. Music and art is my blood flow. Chuck Berry would say poetry is, and God bless him. You know? <laughs> no. <laughs> You know, and uh, I'm inspired by, by people playing them. You know, I never achieved the status of a great player myself. I don't consider myself a musician, but uh, I'm a builder oh, of this. Amazing. And, and uh, in my opinion, uh, no one could touch me in this level right. where I'm at with it. You're untouchable, and, kid. Untouchable, yeah. Beautiful yeah so we, we need to just rephrase that then. You're really the untouchable guitar, George Fenn. Uh, no, I, I didn't I, I, you I, I think I've been, I've been, I've been called bulletproof. <laughs> bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Gene, bulletproof. is he the uh, untouchable? <laughs> Incredible? Lenny, you, you've, you've played these guitars? Yeah, uh, I believe one of the first uh, ones George made, uh, I collaborated with him. Uh, I'm going to play it a little bit later. It's just an incredible uh, guitar. Uh, 
we kind of did a take on a Stratocaster, uh, utilizing the, the technique of turning uh, a guitar upside down, a.k.a. Jimi Hendrix, because your, your treble pickup would now be spun the other way, and of course your headstock would be upside down, shortening your high E string and lengthening your low E string, which has an effect on, uh, I believe, tone and feel of the guitar. And we came up with, uh, what was the model number? JH1. JH1. It's over there, there in the corner. We'll see, we'll see it later. Number. Like an R2-D2. JH1 over Nothing there. Nothing like it. A lot it, louder, but, but okay. Though. Jimi <laughs> Hendrix number one. A lot yeah. louder. Jimi Hendrix number one. Jimi Hendrix guitar. number one. Yeah. As a matter right. of fact, Len, that, that guitar was made in July of 96. There you go. That's right. I made two of them. July 96. Can yeah. we say July 18th? Can we give it a date? Because that's my birthday. Let's say it was born, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like uh, myself, on July 18th. B-O-D is, is 718, yeah. There you, there you go. go. 718. That's and, great. And the body on the guitars are solid acrylic, so they, they resonate, but they're so solid, uh, quite, a, quite a bit heavier. Uh, it, they rival any Les Paul anywhere, but uh, because they're so solid, they resonate a lot, and they, they, they sound great. They play great. Yeah, well, they're they're impressive to even look at. I obviously am not a guitarist, so I don't know, but um, I watched you guys play them, and it's kind of thrilling. Mike, Mike G. Yeah, we had some fun over uh, when I was introduced to George, uh, just going through his collection. So, uh, you know, having handled so many guitars throughout my uh, my lifetime as a as a musician, it was it was a treat, you know. So uh, the workmanship is really exemplary it's just you know to feel the neck look at the quality of the woods used in the neck to complement the bodies of the guitars the different colors the shapes yeah you know it's even so some of the shapes are very standard they're still unique oh so, definitely i had a ball you know you should show me guitars any day well, of the week it was funny because i met both george and lynn here one night at the studio when we were prepping to start our show and as soon as i met them i don't know if you guys remember i said you have to meet the guitarist in my band mike I mentioned your name. One of you said, sounds familiar, I think, George. And, you know, in the music industry, a lot of times, you know, people know each other. Or, and I was finally able to connect you guys together, and we went over George's house that night. And I knew, with the extensive history you guys have with guitars, the knowledge of, which I know nothing of, I just, like, let you guys go. And Vinny and I sat back and just watched this collaboration of guitar knowledge just, like, flow. And it turned into, like, hours. Fun. Where Mike, you know, we started in one room, we wound up in another room, then we wound up in the kitchen, and then Mike was like, I really got to go. You know, he owns a business, he's got to get going for tomorrow. About an hour and a half later, he <laughs> took like three steps towards the door. Wait, that's a song almost, right? <laughs> and um, the, the conversation continued probably like another Give me three steps. two hours or we, so. We wound up leaving before Mike. He left and he said, I better, get, I better call Mike and say, dude, you got to get home. <laughs> but it was great. I knew you guys would click. And so what happened was we put the band together, and we also asked our longtime dear friend, John Olette, who I call Peppy. We call Peppy, so I'm going to call you Peppy tonight. And for those of you who know him as, as John, that's all good. And Len introduced us to Joe Vecchio, his, who is an amazing bass player. So we collaborated, and we put this band together, which we'll play some stuff for you later. But we decided our name is called the Acrylic Blues Band. Right, guys? There you go. So that's what we are. So you got to look for us. But um, we're going to play some stuff later. But um, Vinny, you want to throw a question their way? Well, I want to ask, is there other instruments? Do you make a bass guitar? Is it just guitars? No, or... I, I've made, I made a couple of basses, and I've made, I've made a few guitars, uh, wood body guitars, double neck guitars. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, a, really? A, a, okay. de a dear friend in the, in the business, I built uh, three double neck guitars, one one lefty and two righties and uh that would be uh 67 acrylic guitars and three wood guitars and the six that i still have here and uh now you, you sell these right oh Correct? yeah I, I sell them yeah do you I, make I, them custom for people like could they order like a special color or they something? they they can order anything they can think of and i could make it how does one get one how does one get one well, we, we have a, a, a Facebook site set up. Uh, I have some cards, you know, and it's acrylic guitars by George at gmail.com. 
I hope that's the right number. You know, I'm not as <laughs> oh, computer no, literate as I am, Katori. Yeah. If now you can stay tuned, yeah, we'll get on our we, site. We'll, we'll nail on, that on down. Site and you can but you know what? I'm, I'm a builder. And, and when, I, when I look at these and, and I say, what brought me to this point? You, you know, you have imagination. And imagination is greater than knowledge. Thank you, Albert Einstein. Yes. Okay? That's true. Uh, you, it comes from the heart. You, it comes from the mind, what you think of, and then it comes out of the hands. So that's what an artist is, you know, and I, I've been very humbled by, by what I do. I, I love building these things. You know, I can play some chords, I can play some notes. It doesn't make me a musician. But, but what I can do here, I haven't seen anyone come close to what I do. You know, I, I, would think it's, I dig it. I, I think it's amazing. I mean, when I met you and I saw your stuff, Andre LaSalle was here, actually, on yeah, Tommy yeah. Moore's show. And I love that's Andre. When I first saw it, I was definitely impressed. Um, I would think, though, Creating anything like this, it's so hard to part with. Like if I make a cake for a bake oh, sale, it, like, it is hard to don't, part don't with. Take it. No. It is. These <laughs> these are my babies, and you know I develop a relationship yeah, with I them. You know, too. and I've slept with a few guitars. I have. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually the, the the one with the liquid in it is like kind of like a lava lamp. If you pick it up and uh, shake it. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. I'll show you. You know, the oil is is lighter than the water, but you know if you get a good picture of that. That's, yeah, that's just so cool. That's, is that's that the one you slept cool. with? Uh, yeah. That's I, the one I, don't I would know. sleep no, with. I don't touch it. This, this one doesn't <laughs> have the not. F hole. I didn't sleep with this one, no. Yeah, if you <laughs> slept with that one, Lenny's not going to play. I think the other one's scary to sleep with, though, the, the real rigid one. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the sharp one, the, yeah. the flame guitar, we that's call the mutilator. Thing. That one I would definitely not sleep with. Yeah, exactly. I'm with you on that, Mike. And by the way, that one is bullet resistant. You know, maybe if Dimebag, God bless his soul, if he had one, maybe he'd There you go. Fully you resistant, know. nice. Maybe you can make an acrylic drum set. Oh uh, well, you know yeah. they've they've been done before. Yeah. Actually, um, yeah. Peppy, I well I've known you, Peppy, probably since uh, we were about sixteen. We're the same age, right? I no grew way. up in Lindenhurst, Vinny grew up in Copaig, and I got together with a, a bunch of guys that played, and that's how I met Vinny and a bunch of people through my girlfriend Linda Peppetone. Love you, Lynn. Thanks mm -hmm. for the ride. Please. And. Uh, <laughs> Peppy and I go way back, and we jammed, right, in garages and oh, on some stages right. way, way, way back. And we lost touch, and thank you to Facebook. We reunited probably about five years ago, and Peppy, I was so glad to hear. You're still doing your thing. Mm -hmm. I was still doing my thing, yeah. and I'm thrilled to know that we're back together. We've done a couple of benefits with my band, Sheet Rock, yeah. and your band at the time, which was Back Alley. Yeah. And now to be playing like this together, Love Peppy, it. after 30 Love years it. or so, I yeah. Need to, play and all, to throw this together and all the other shows that we've done together, it's a blast. Definitely. What, what's your favorite music to play? I mean, we all grew up loving classic rock, but you do everything. If I, if I had my choice, I would be playing Aerosmith, Zeppelin. Classic rock. If a band yeah, called me tomorrow good. and needed a fill-in for ACDC, Judas Priest, I'd do that. If they needed a Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, fill in, I'd be doing that. So, so rock is just music that I've grew up with, or we've grown up right. with, and it's and it's it's been great. Well, I'm with you on that. I mean, that's all my favorite stuff. Mm -hmm. um, if I could do it every day in my life until the day I die. You know, Mike knows. I keep saying, let's do some. God bless. Yeah. Yeah. Not some just stuff. your bucket list. Not just <laughs> playing it. It's listening to it. Yeah. Going out, seeing the shows, mm -hmm. getting people together. I mean, that's really what's what's special about it. Yeah. And also supporting local musicians, right? Like you have to any one of you guys, arts. you're in a band. Vinny and I try to support all our friends. Sometimes we can't get out and there's other plans. But at some point, we get to see everybody. And you know what, Absolutely. everyone, that's what it's all about here, um, especially on the island. There are so many talented musicians. Tommy Marr knows. Tommy, you know, you're a musician your whole life. We all have to come and support each other. And whether it's your genre of music or not, you go and you support. And uh, that's why we do it. We love it. And Joe. We just met, like I said, through Len. Last week. That's <laughs> right. And I feel like I've known you for a long time. You're an amazing bass player. We I left that night that. after the jam, and we just said, wow. Vinny and I looked at each other and said, that guy's good. Thank you. You just meld right in. So you're, I know you were away from it for a while? Well, um, gigging, I've been away from, from it for about 13 years now. But whenever Lenny calls me, <laughs> I don't ask questions. <laughs> and uh, I know it's going to be good going to be a good scene and uh, I get get to go out here and there and uh, like we got together last week and tonight. 
Right. Well, you you got to know that when Lenny calls, it's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't yeah. say that. It's going to be fun. When Lenny calls about music, it's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Any other phone call uh, is scary. This is Those, true. Well, it, it almost sounded like Joe, Lenny's the enforcer. Chops. When Lenny yeah. calls, you go, oh, okay. <laughs> Now, but it's, it's you got the mots. Let me get the mots. Let me get the mots. <laughs> but so now I had asked you last week, 13 years, and you've been away from it. Do you want to? Running a business. Running a business. That's, you know. But do you feel the, the urge now after we jammed oh, last course, week and we yeah. had fun I that you kind of. urge. But you think you'll maybe work your way back into it now? Maybe get back into the scene and, you know. Let's hope so. Yeah, because there's this acrylic, this acrylic, this acrylic blues band thing. I'm thinking, you know, it's a nice maybe little, well, you know. Joe and I were supposed to start uh, a band, and we were, we were rehearsing with a couple of people at the house, we were, you know, getting it tight to just get into the studio and start it. And we were supposed to play the first week in November. Well, I have to tell you, Sandy took care of that, oh, you know? So mm -hmm. that all went by the wayside, and just then the, the holidays happened, and just it, everybody's got their own stories yeah. about that, but it was a, yeah. it was a bit of a nightmare, you know? Yeah. But uh, I'll play with Joe anytime. Yeah. We well, have a great time together. Well, listen, we're going to cut to a commercial. We're going to come back with a story. Uh, I want to t talk to Lenny about a story about Eric Clapton. Uh, funny story. I want you all to hear. But we'll be right back with our guests. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When you pay too much for cable, you throw things. When you throw things, people think you have anger issues. When people think you have anger issues, your schedule clears up. When your schedule clears up, you grow a scraggly beard. When you grow a scraggly beard, you start taking in stray animals. And when you start taking in stray animals, you can't stop taking in stray animals. Stop taking in stray animals. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. So then I said, Mr. Prime Minister, I'm flattered that you love chocolate, but I'm here strictly in a professional. What's wrong with him? He thinks you're naked. My shell is brown. It just looks like my milk chocolate is showing. Only a fool would think I'd actually show up naked. So it's that kind of party. Hit it! I'm sexy and I know it. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy from the Harrison Law Group. You know, soft tissue injury, that's no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. Don't waste valuable time going to firms who don't get it and can't do it. Call 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Hi, and welcome back to the Solori No Pain, No Glory Hour. Um, I just want to start off uh, thanking George for being here with his guitars. Um, I, I want to show him that, you know, I, I used to build guitars too. He did. That, I, I actually, that's true. I actually brought one of my old guitars that I built back in the day. I would like to say, George, we're not trying to show you up. No. But really, oh, this is a talent he's had since oh, he was a child. Look and, uh, at that. I think I built it for my daughter. It was that's for third grade. <laughs> oh. It's a classic Cheerios cool. uh, guitar. Excellent. Cool. 
<laughs> nice uh, swag. Sheet rock screws and rubber bands. <laughs> yeah, That's so, the so, shit. You so, know. Uh, you know, I, I used to be a builder myself. And they don't <laughs> sell very well. They yeah. don't sound too good. Yeah, but the Cheerios taste good. But she got an A on her project, so. There you yeah. go. It worked. Yeah. There you go. You know? You just blew her cover. Told everybody you made I, it for her. I, she's 23 <laughs> now. You know? Oh, good. I, I, got, I want to say this, because I, ha I have the books on so many pieces. In 1970, a guitar builder in England built one out of a Kellogg's Corn Flakes box, and it went to the guitarist from Fairport Convention. Nice. It's in the Ultimate Guitar Book. The really? Tony Bacon it really, book. Is it, was it a working functional guitar? It, it was a working functional guitar, and okay. kids, if you're listening, I love Life Serial. Mikey does, too. Mikey likes it. Right? And, it. and I will hey, build... A life serial Give it the mic. guitar. Give it the mic. Really? Okay. okay. And so, I'll encase the box in acrylic so it'll 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 sustain awesome. you know handling and such. So you heard that right here for the first you did. time. You did. It, it, so it's, it's, been, it's been in my head for a while. It'll come out. I have a question. I'm going to go through each of you. Okay. I don't know who I'm going to give more time. I'll start with you. Okay. Oh. Bucket list. Give me two things off a bucket list. If you, if, I don't know if you have a bucket list. I actually don't have one yet, but. Damn, I think I've done just about everything in life. And, uh, you know, I, I, I guess doing a cross-country trip with the motorcycle would be cool. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, because right? you ride. Yeah. Right. And uh, maybe to be with every girl I ever thought about at the same time. <laughs> you know? Well, Within a 24-hour uh, period, Wow, that's pretty demanding on yourself. Then. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll rest up for that one. You're going to have to okay. build something else out of acrylic. Uh -huh. Len, you have a bucket list? I have a bucket list. I've been thinking about it pretty much lately because of some health concerns. And uh, it's pretty short, but I think it would work, work for me. I'd like to get a lot older, gracefully and healthily, you know, always. I, I believe quality over quantity any day. Right. And uh, I'd like to own a couple of horses again. Oh, nice. nice. You and did I, own horses at one time? Yeah, I used to have horses years ago. Then we had kids. Uh, sometimes I thought I should have stuck to horses. but. <laughs> But I love my kids. I do. Uh, and I've got friends in my life right now who uh, are encouraging me to do this because they might be able to help me own a couple of horses again. <laughs> there you go. And, you, uh, you turn your horses into hogs, huh? Well, yeah. I, I, I ride motorcycles, and that is strictly uh, a substitute, the steel pony, for the flesh pony. So, nice. Uh, well, I'd like, we, to, you know, like yeah. to get back there again. I hope someday you do, and we'll yeah. definitely come and uh, maybe ride them someday. Uh, absolutely. Then. That's what they're for. Mike Gervasi. Bucket list? Somebody asked me this question recently, and I had an answer for it. And I guess it still stands. I would, I would love for one night just to have the opportunity to sit in for a song and a gigantic stage like uh, Madison Square Garden or someplace uh -huh. with one of my you know, idol bands and just sit in and play a song with them. That's pretty cool. You know, a lot of the guitar players in a lot of popular bands over the years, they kind of suck. Who would be an idol band? What? Who would be one of the idol bands? Well, one would be Kansas. Kansas. Another would be Rush. Wow. And I would love the other one to be Dream Theater, but I could never be John Petrucci. I could see you sitting side by side with Peter Frampton. And no. Peter Frampton yeah. would go yeah. on that list, too, because he's one that. of my all-time <laughs> favorites. Great. Everybody. Happy guitar. Very happy man now. Happy? Well, we went and seen him. We Actually, Mike kind of stole my thunder on that. <laughs> you can say the same thing. No, no, really. Listen, I mean, when you're in this hey, business, you, you know. You see the video of the so Billy Joel concert, and he pulls a kid up out of there, and the kid sits in singing. If Joey Kramer went down <laughs> sick in an hour <laughs> <the> show, <laughs> and they needed somebody to finish up the set... Oh, my goodness. I would love to be up there. There you, you know, go. Yeah. Be in one of those situations, I would love it. Well, I can guarantee you, Dominic Mignacci uh -huh. and Parker would be at that uh -huh. show. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, as well as we would as We've well. been to okay. over a dozen of them. But doing something like that, you know, your five minutes, 30 minutes of fame, yeah. you know, when you, get to, when you get to chance to meet some of these great musicians that you've been listening to for years, I mean, that, that's, that's an honor. You almost don't know what to say to them. Yeah. But if I had an opportunity to sit in, uh, I'm not a bucket list guy or, or a vision board. Um, to be able to retire healthy, family, yeah. go traveling,
play my music. Play some golf. Uh, I know you're oh, a golfer. I have to play golf. Yeah, I know It's that. a weird situation. Music and then golf. It's like, <laughs> who are you? It's okay, uh, but, yeah. But that's yeah. great. That's who I am. And, oh, it's uh, cool. It's a scratch golfer. Yeah. That's right. right. Willie, yeah. Willie Nelson. Too. Really? Yeah. Maybe I'll strike Willie up Nelson. a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. He'll music need to fill in for a Come show. Come in on the five. You never and, know. And that's it. But, yeah, I would love that. Good. Joe? I would love that. I don't have to be with any of my idols, but just to get back into playing, Long Island bands playing in a kick-ass blues band regularly, that would be it. You're halfway there. there. You go. You're halfway there. there. <laughs> right. 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 the lottery right. also. <laughs> that would help. Right. 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 That, that always helps. Yeah. 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 But we yeah. can pretend yeah. we're getting it's back. Not? Yeah. No, that's it. You're leaving? Oh, shit. I want to <laughs> add to my bucket list, but, you know, I'll let it go. I, um, you got a big bucket. It just, yeah, it just bucket. struck uh, a quick memory when Mike said, you know, playing with your idol. Probably about two years ago, um, Vin and I and a couple of friends went to go see Stevie Nicks and Rod Stewart. And Vin and our friend Rich Albano were sitting up like in the 200s, and myself, Linda Pepitone, Jennifer Mazur, Jen's mom, we were on the floor because Kevin got us right down by the stage. And we were like eight rows from the stage. Now Rod Stewart came out, and everybody knows that Rod Stewart kicks tons of soccer balls. He's got his side stage guys yeah, throwing. That keeps him young. Well, we were right under the big giant speaker that comes off the ceiling, and Rod was trying to get a ball straight across to the other end of the garden, and he got under it too much. And it actually flipped up, hit the speaker. I happened to be looking up, waving to Vin and my friend Rich, when the ball hit the speaker, came crashing down right on my head. Uh. He texts me, did you just get hit with the ball? The ball bounced off of me, hit Jennifer's mother. She fell to the ground. I got a concussion, wound up in the hospital the next day, and oh, everyone man. said to me, oh my god, you should have sued Rod Stewart. I said, you know what? Yeah, that would be great, but I, I love the guy, and my first thought wouldn't be to sue. I'm okay. I'm healthy. Everything's good. My brain's still intact. Well, that could be. Yeah. <laughs> that could his be, his yeah. intentions yeah. were good. What I would have wanted was for him to let me get up there on stage and do a song with him, and that well, would have been my glory moment. To you know, I tell you what, I would have I would have sued him this. just for doing all those stupid standards he's doing now. I mean, <laughs> Thank you. No. Torch sure. songs. Yeah. You should have sued him. But his old no. stuff is great. Wake I still, up. I still yeah, you know, beat old classic. You know what? Oh, let the man grow into himself. He's still, yeah. still growing. He's yeah, still great. Yeah. Yeah. All those crazy rumors from the, from the 60s and 70s about him. Yeah. Damn, I wish I had half the tale he landed, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And all the yeah. rumors about him being gay. Yeah, uh, I Rod used that. to say, yeah, yeah. y'all wish you could score That was back about 78, 79. And I actually remember yeah, we were right. hanging down at Tanner Park back in those days, like we did every night, drinking beer, throwing frisbee, doing a bone or two. <laughs> And I remember Vinny actually sticking up for him. He said, I don't care what he did. He's still great, you know, back in those days, too. I was always a Rod Stewart fan. I thought it was great. Mm. Not not, I'm, I'm, I'm with Mike. I'm with Mike. I'm, I'm not too <laughs> not to say there's anything hip wrong on with the that. stuff that he's copying and doing, but I like his old stuff. Yeah, oh, know, yeah. I'll yeah. tell you. I, I, you know, you watch musicians as they, you know, they, they evolve. Yeah. Exactly. All, no, good, all yeah. musicians evolve. That is a form reversal. That's not an evolution, in my opinion. That's all. It, 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 to me, it, it was like, you know our keyboard player, Barry, and his wife, Barbara, went to right. see uh, Linda Ronstadt. At Recently? Westbury. This is within is the last decade. Oh, okay. And they went to see the show, and it was billed as, like, the best of Linda Ronstadt. I'm paraphrasing. I don't know exactly how it was billed. And everybody bought tickets expecting her to sing her hits. And she started doing... I don't know what crap was she into then. She made another. I just said to Vinny, like, last week, she time. fell off the face of the earth. Everybody like, walked so out. You mentioned her. Everybody walked out. And she got, she, there was some dialogue. I mean, you could probably look this up. But there was some dialogue with the audience about the fact that she was indignant about the fact that I'm going to do this. She said something verbally to the audience. It's just, wow. you know, people pay yeah. money to go see you do a certain thing. You perform your show. Well, especially yeah, after somebody from that long ago, you're kind of connected to that. So it kind of brings back, it jars all these memories, and, and it brings you back to the time when you loved that person and what they did, I would think. So maybe mm -hmm. people were disappointed. But Len, you have. On something. the other hand, on the other hand, I'm. Probably one of the few people on this panel old enough to remember seeing uh, Jimi Hendrix in person. I saw Jimi in person, and when you saw Jimi, uh, you wanted to hear those hits. But Jimi was so bored with what he was doing, by the time you got round to seeing him, Jimi was on to something new. So you had to sit there and be assailed by something you didn't know, and you were just subject to it, and it was just off the hook. It was invariably killer. You know? yeah. Jimi was you know, just... Well, another level. That's a, that's a, I was going to say, that's a whole other level. Right. Yeah. You could yeah. see Jimmy do anything. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't yeah. matter. Hit, yeah. but no hit, 
Play with oh, the guitar. Man. Well, listen. The time span was three and a half years. We're going to have to, I know yeah. we're going to have to bring Lenny back to get that Eric Clapton story because we have to take a commercial break and then we're going to come back and do the acrylic blues band jam thing. Cool. So, Lenny, we'll have to have you back next time for that story. I hope you don't mind. Not at all. Time's going Stay very Stay tuned. Quick. We'll be right back with the acrylic blues. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy from the Harrison Law Group. You know, soft tissue injury, that's no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. Don't waste valuable time going to firms who don't get it and can't do it. Call 1-800-INJURY-LAW. So then I said, Mr. Prime Minister, I'm flattered that you love chocolate, but I'm here strictly in a professional. What's wrong with him? He thinks you're naked. My shell is brown. It just looks like my milk chocolate is showing. Only a fool would think I'd actually show up naked. So it's that kind of party. Hit it! I'm sexy and I know it. One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Somebody was barbecuing, barbecuing, barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I was ran for my life. Ain't nobody getting time for that. Freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh! Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials! You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power? Yeah, I do! Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. Ba -ba 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 power. Whoa. Old Spice Body Spray can change a regular smelling man into a man who smells like power. Now, how is this? Ah! Wow, you know what? I actually do feel more power. Potato chips! <laughs> ba -ba 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 power! It's me!
Uh, hmm. uh, Ray, I don't know. Are you sure clicking this thing will get us online? Well, try dragging it. Hmm. Faster. You're just a mouse click away from a better way to rent movies. Blockbuster Total Access. Movies through the mail plus movies through the store. One low price. Here's the problem. We forgot to plug it in. Oh, don't even think about it. Get a free trial at your Blockbuster store or Blockbuster.com. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. <laughs> For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. Brooklyn's best locks in the hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, Fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best, Locksmith and Hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. Hi, and welcome back to the Solori No Guts, No Glory Hour. We're about to uh, play some music for you. We are the Acrylic Blues Band, the new Acrylic Blues Band. And just very quickly, I want to say that Mike Gervasi is playing Sylvia 69, which is one of George, Guitar George Fedden's creations. It's also the guitar that he named after Sylvia because of 69. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's in today. You can say anything. Here we go. I'm almost level with the ground Yeah, I'm tore down I'm almost level with the ground Well, I feel like this when my baby can't be found Well, I went to the river to jump in My baby showed up and said I will tell you where I tore down I'm almost level with the ground Well, I feel like this when my baby can be found Well, I love you, babe, with all my heart and soul A love like mine will never grow I love you in the morning, in the evening, too Every time you leave me, I can never be where I'm torn down I'm almost never with the ground Well, I feel like it's when my baby gets back I love you, babe, with all oh, my might. A love like mine is out of sight. I lie for you if you want me to. I don't really don't believe that your love is true. When I tore down, I'm almost never with the ground. Well, I feel like this when my baby can be found. Okay. 
can't be found. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm in a phone booth, baby. Number scratched on the wall. I'm in a phone booth, baby. Number scratched on the wall. I'm new here in Deer Park. Got no one left to call. Been walking all day. Oh, friends, I can't find. So cold, had to buy me some wine. Calling you, baby, took my very last time. Yeah, my I'm in a phone booth, baby. Number scratched on the wall. I'm in a phone booth, baby. Number scratched on the wall. I'm new in Chicago. Got no one else to call. Said, call me the reader. Anytime, day or night. Well, you know, I'm broken, I'm cold, baby, and I hope you'll treat me right. I'm in a phone booth, baby, cold winds right outside. Thank you. Thank you. That, uh, oh. oh, okay. I know what we're doing. Uh, that was uh, that was actually a, a <laughs> Albert King song uh, done by quite a few few guys. That was the Robert Robert Cray version. But uh, there's another one for you. It is an old old blues tune covered by just about everybody. Called Five Long Years.
have you ever been mistreated? You know what I'm talking about. Have you ever been mistreated? You know just what I'm talking about. I worked five long years for one woman. She had the nerve to kick me out. I got a job in a steel mill. Shucking steel like a slave. Five long years, everybody, I came home. Came home with all my pain. Have you ever been mistreated? You know just what I'm talking about. I worked five long years for one woman. She had the nerve to put me out. I should a long time ago Next woman that I marry She's gonna work and bring me to dough Have you ever been mistreated? You know just what I'm talking about I work five long years for one woman she had the nerve, she had the nerve, she had the nerve, she had the nerve to put me out. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Fabulous. We're going to close up with one more song for you guys. We're the Acrylic Blues Band. And uh, once again, Guitar George Fedden, thank you so much for bringing your amazing creations for us to play in, uh, and showcase. I got the uh, Jimi Hendrix one. This is, this is the one we were talking about. We're going to leave you with a Kenny Wayne Shepherd tune, which I've always loved, so that's why we're doing it. <laughs> It even holds its tune in the case, ladies and gentlemen. Guaranteed not the ring stain, bubble up or sweat.
playing the blues, John. One, two. <laughs> From the ashes out of the flame Keeps getting stronger like a slow rolling train Watch it burn While the good die oh, oh, yeah. Burning like a shooting star Born with a broken heart Off in the distance Calling my name, I took me a ride on a slow rolling train. Watch it go. It seems that the good die. Oh, oh yeah. Playing all that sad guitar, oh, with a broken heart. Yeah, burning like a shooting star. With a broken From a sex drink or a bag of drugs Oh, what are the good times? Oh, oh, yeah oh, Riding in a long black car Oh, with a broken heart Oh, playing all that sad guitar Shooting star, oh, a broken heart. Yeah.
Glory Hour. Want to thank Guitar George Fedden, Mike Trevasi, Joe Vecchio, John Orlett, and Len Campanelli. Thank you guys. Stay tuned next week. Same place, same time. We thank love you. Thank you guys. Thank Good you, night. Madhouse. Good night.